Hi, Andrew Sheps here, and this is a brief walkthrough of the new feature where you can upload either your bounced mix or your exported mix, or both, to Samply. So let's start off with the stuff that's familiar already. We are going to take a snapshot, and this is the test session that I use for every single video. So we're going to bounce something called Best Song Ever for Samply. And what you'll notice is this is all the same, except there's a new checkbox, Upload to Samply. Now, if I check this, then I would be uploading my 48K 24-bit. Actually, what I want to do is let me bring it into the session and export a 4416, and I'm going to upload that one to Samply. Now, you can have these checked at the same time, but I'm just going to upload the exported file. So I click that, I get a dialog that will let me choose where I want to put it inside of my Samply account. So when I click choose, it's going to check authentication with Samply. And if you're doing this for the first time, it'll take you to a website. You say, yes, I grant permission for Soundflow to talk to Samply. And the only things that it can do is find out the names of projects so that it can present them to you as possible destinations. And it can upload files. It can't manipulate files, can't rename them, can't delete them, anything like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click choose. And it's going to give me a little warning that tells me all the stuff about it, which you can read when you're trying it for the first time. Click OK. Up here you can see it's checking authorization, and now it's retrieving the data about my Samply account. So all the projects, all the folders within them. And then it will present me with a list of all the folders so I can decide where I want to upload this. So I'm going to upload it into an untitled project, and we'll just put it on the top level of the project. So if I look at this project here, you'll see that I'm looking at exactly the same thing. There's a folder called test, there's a stack called hook base, and another stack called hook base. So I'm going to go ahead and do this into the top level, and it shows me I'm uploading to the project, and it's called untitled project. Say close, and then we proceed and take our snapshot as usual. All right, now that we have our snapshot, let's bounce it and watch it work. Okay, now once it's done bouncing, we're going to import and then export as usual. And then you're going to see the upload monitor that will show you the progress of all the files that you're uploading, if it's more than one. So you see the best song ever for Samply just showed up in the queue. Meanwhile, Bounce Factory will continue bouncing. Mixes are ready, and at the same time, it's finished uploading. So let's go check it out. Best song ever for Samply is up in our Samply project, and we're done. One other thing you can do is you can use the uploader just to manually upload files. Now, for single files, you just drag it into the web version of Samply. There's no reason really to use this. But if you've got several folders full of files, you can select them and select a destination, just like you do when making a snapshot. And then you can queue up tons of uploads into different parts of your Samply account, if that's what you want to do. All right. Enjoy.